Ladies and gentlemen, I prefer, oh, no. ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Cybertrax. the things you want us to talk about, don't want us to talk about? We anticipate breaking this thing. Most of my cars, like my Lamborghini Storato, I've ripped off the whole underside of the car already. Yeah. Like it's just hammered. Mm -hmm. I'm not super concerned about this. Like I think we're gonna break it at some point. Yeah. It is what it is. We'll Let's go have fun with it. Yeah. I think it's like shockingly ugly. It's cool, you know? Like it's so ugly, it's cool. It's right. like a weird spaceship driving down the road. Yeah. Like, but it's actually really good to drive. Like yeah. when you guys get behind the wheel, like it's fun to drive around. The only bad thing is the mileage sucks. Like you guys are gonna have to keep this thing keep charged charge, or yeah. else you're gonna run out of juice. This car is missing parts. <laughs> like they shipped it to us without the hubcaps installed and they're like, hey, we just ran out. Like we don't have any more. We'll send them to, yeah. I was like, dude, you guys are just shipping out cars like missing stuff well, on them, you know? Counting these things together, like look at the body lines. Yep. Yep. They're not impressive. Do you see that? Like it's, it's, it's like, like literally like a barbecue grill. Yes. <laughs> it's it's skinned like a Father's Day special from Home Depot. It's yes. wild. Uh, yes. It'll have tracks on it before the center caps get you. <laughs> yes. I know. If I destroy this car, there's no parts to fix it. You yeah. know what I mean? So like if it's non-functional, it's just a paperweight sitting in my garage yep. until I can fix the thing. So I want to shoot it like I have a full auto MP5. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 9mm and I'm like dude just go wild just just spraying it all over the car I think that'd be really fun yeah let's do a whole bunch of fun stuff and then maybe we shoot it oh uh, yeah okay yeah. I want to put the best tracks we have this set called the hell tracks so we have them gladiator up in the cabin yeah they're the best tracks in the world by far oh, totally. but they might not fit without a lift we'll figure something out you guys actually need the key that's the test the key. key that's the test the key right there yeah I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I would yeah. either keep this forever or lose it the first day I had it. I'm excited. This is going to be cool. This is going to be kind of a gradual escalation of different things. Um, obviously, tracks is one of the first things we want to try to figure out, but there's so many other things we want to try to do with, do with this car. So stay tuned to this channel and obviously uh, Supercar Ron's channel. They're pumping out some amazing content. It's very underrated, so I would get there sooner than later. It does have a little more appeal in person. I've not liked the pictures. Stainless steel is really, really hard to work with because it's just so damn hard. They just put it on the brake once and then... I mean, it's a genius move from a production standpoint. I've never done mass manufacturing of stainless steel components, but I'm pretty sure this is way easier to do than regular car stamping molds because all those have to be basically form fit with crazy curves and stuff like this. This is just straight lines. I don't think there's a single curve on this car. So it makes the process a little bit easier because then you're just basically putting stuff in big presses rather than like actual molds. Those look tough. <laughs> no, the, dude, the accidents that I'm seeing with these things, these win. Dave, you ready to go? Here we go. interesting it's yeah. it's kind of like just driving a golf cart <laughs> there's a lot going on here supposedly it's raising right now but i'm not sure if it does well open the front i think it's going to take a little while to learn all the tricks and features here but i think we're gonna have some fun with it done. hey what happened to you <laughs> Just in the car together, just fine. He was getting a little cranky, getting hangry, I think. Told me to stop for food. We didn't have time. And now he's speaking in caveman. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I have AG1, who just so happens to be the sponsor of today's video, and you will not believe how well this stuff works. And I think it should uh, turn old grumpy caveman's day right around. This drink is daily foundational nutrition. If you didn't take any other supplements and you just took this, you'd be in a really good place. So you just take the pack, dump it into the water bottle. I like to add anywhere from about eight to 12 ounces of water. 
shake it for a couple seconds. This thing has helped me have better focus, better mood, better gut health. Even my skin looks better when I drink this stuff. So let's see if we can solve this caveman's problem. Mm. Finally, some nutrition. Oh, it's the spot. As you can see, this stuff works. Click the link in my description below, go to their website and place an order. With your first order, AG1 is gonna hook you up with 10 of these free travel packs, plus a one year supply of vitamin D3, K2 for free. And I really do believe that a lot of you could be feeling a lot better than you do by just making a small change and implementing this into your diet. After all, this is foundational nutrition. Uh, we are just adding more and more and more. Dave, he always wants to go step above, step above, step above. We're just gonna do tracks on the cyber truck. Then Dave looks at it, stands there, and he says, We need lights. I'm trying to shoot this on a Monday. He said, We need lights on a Thursday. Weekend stuff doesn't get shipped out. Baja Designs came in clutch. Check this out. It's Friday. Literally yesterday at 2 o'clock Utah time, Mountain Center time, Dave's like, Let's get lights. These were here by 10 o'clock the next morning. The guys over at Baja Designs absolutely came in for us. They were actually bigger than we thought they were gonna be, but they are going to light up the sky. You can actually get these with like different backlighting color options. We did amber because turns out you can get in a lot of trouble from personating an officer. So they have red, they have blue. We just went with amber. Much, much appreciated the guys over at Baja for sending them out. So we're gonna run them all along there. We're also we're gonna design our own front bumper and it'll probably incorporate a handful of these lights into the bumper. Baja, thank you very much. This vehicle is 48 volts. We need 12 volts to run those lights. So, plan is to run an entire separate system for all the lighting that we're gonna add into this. moments later I didn't hit anything ran into our first issue here and I'm looking at the upper control arm and it's literally folded like a piece of paper this is not supposed to look like this it's super thin and not very structural I think we can fix that and just beef it up like crazy so <laughs> Way better than it did the other day. It's feeling very stable. Doesn't feel like the suspension's gonna fall off, which is nice. I think these new control arms plus the coilover shock that we added to the front end is gonna be the ticket. First failure of the day was the rear steer uh, tie rod bolt. There's just one like half inch bolt that holds the, the, the tie rod to the steering rack and it's like a straight through bolt and it just broke right in half. So it's not the worst damage that could have happened, but it does leave us in a situation where the track is 
pointing the wrong direction and it's undrivable until we figure out how to get this thing locked in place. This is our weak point right here because it gets down pretty small and we're going to go to this. Now we are getting the front end put back together. I think Rom's gonna make some new brackets for the rear to eliminate the rear steer, just in case we have to, if something breaks or goes wrong. And then I think be testing tomorrow, round three. a brand new Tesla Cybertruck Foundation Edition that was purchased by our good friend Supercar Ron. And Ron came to us and said, hey, I want you guys to do whatever you want with this truck. As you can see, the Cybertruck has a full build done to it. We added Baja Designs lights. We added our own 12-volt uh, battery system to the bed that charges up the truck's inverter. We built custom bumpers. We built uh, custom rocker panels. Basically, we matched all the stainless steel components, but we had to remove a bunch of parts because we needed to make some room so that the tracks would clear without destroying the body. On top of that, we decided to finish it off with an Arctic FX vinyl wrap in kind of a snow digital camo pattern. I love the way this thing turned out. We've had this thing out. We've tested it once, twice. I believe this is test number three. On the first test, we had some parts fail that we kind of knew were going to fail. So we took it back to the shop. We beefed up the entire steering system. The tie rods used to be like the size of a pencil. Now they're like you know inch thick tube uh, we completely changed the suspension we built new upper control arms because the factory ones just kind of folded like paper uh, we added coilover shocks from fox we disabled the air ride suspension so it's just basically at this ride height no matter what it's not going to be trying to do adjustments we locked out the rear steer we've done a bunch of different things to get this thing just dialed and ready to go so today is the day that we tested out when i came into this project i thought that tesla was not going to be happy about it i thought they were going to be super protective they didn't want people modifying their vehicle turns out i was way wrong they have been nothing but super friendly super supportive and insanely excited about the modifications that we've done to the cyber truck which in turn made me much more of a tesla and cyber truck fan because i see that they genuinely care about their customers and their vehicles and they're willing to do cool stuff and they got a great captain at the helm with elon musk so overall they definitely won me over and earned a lot of my respect gonna get wild right off the bat here we're gonna go up a real steep powder hill that doesn't feel real steep at all actually wow wow dude yeah that's incredible <laughs> this thing it really is kind of the perfect vehicle for this setup because it has all that instant uh, torque and horsepower from the electric motors um, these hell tracks are built to withstand a lot of power I mean they bolt them on to thousand horsepower you know Hellcat powered Jeep gladiators all the time um, gladiator is a little bit lighter than this but it's got beefier axles, so it can hold the power. Um, this thing, now that we've kind of done the modification of the drivetrain, this is insane. Like, it feels so stable. I would feel totally comfortable loading this thing full of skiers and going to the top of any ski resort around, like the steepest runs. Yeah, that like uphill. Now we are doing 35 miles an hour according to the truck speedometer, which is probably closer to like 15, 20 ground speed. Um, so I'm going to give it about half throttle. Let's see what happens. And the Speedo instantly jumps to like 75. What is our ground speed? 37. Yeah, so we can cruise around 40 to 50 miles an hour all day. And it's super comfortable. God, this is awesome.
that snapped the entire spindle. Look at that. That is absurd. Looked great it for looks a second. so sick for a sec. Yeah. I knew that was going to be a weak link, but I didn't know it was going to happen right now. But it was also, it was in limp mode. I can't get it to drive again. <laughs> Nothing we made broke. No. <laughs> yeah, it's all been, it's all been um, factory parts that have failed so far. So just came down this hill here and uh, literally snapped the spindle in half, which is incredible. I don't even know how we did that. That is, uh, that is quite the thing to break. And we're not going to be able to get it off the mountain like that. So we gotta figure out a way to park this and get a spindle for it and get up here and fix it. That's a good fail point. As far as like, I'd rather that fail than that try to rip that all that shit off the frame. Right. That's what I thought happened. Feel itself. We might be able to do a trail fix on it to get it down to the truck, but I think it's gonna be a nightmare so we're gonna have to go probably get the parts and pieces that we need to fix it and come back up and finish it but that might not be until next week because we have to leave today um getting ready to head down to florida to film a bunch of boating content for you guys dude for 15 minutes it was like the sickest thing in the world 